Welcome pilots, today we'll be exploring how to utilize the GBU-12 laser guided bomb from the F-16 Viper inside of DCS World. Our mission involves piloting the F-16 and using the lightning targeting pod to help identify and engage enemy targets. Once we have established a track on the enemy with a targeting pod, or TGP for short, we'll deploy the GBU-12 on the enemy and provide self-lazing for the bomb while it rides the beam of energy onto the target with precision. Boom shakalaka! Before diving into the mission, let's break it down a little bit more. What do we mean when we talk about laser guided bombs? Well, dropping laser guided bombs implies that the target is designated with a laser beam. The laser beam can come from the dropping aircraft, another aircraft, or a ground-based designator. Today we'll be dropping the GBU-12, which is a standard 500 pound bomb that has a laser guided kit attached to it so it can ride the beam of energy down to its target. In order for this to work correctly, our bombs and laser code from the targeting pod must match. The GBU-12 is a highly effective weapon against both stationary and moving targets, making it a versatile addition to the F-16's arsenal. For this mission, we are flying over the Syria map inside of DCS World, and like my other videos, this mission is available for download in the pinned comment below if you want to follow along. Before we get into the air, it should be noted that in order to change your laser code in the GBU-12 itself, you need to do this on the ground before the engines start. You can do this inside the kneeboard or inside the mission editor if you're making your own mission. In the provided mission and tutorial, we'll be changing the laser code inside the jet to match our code of the bombs that I have pre-selected in the mission editor of 1511. So why change laser codes, you might ask? Well, while you're flying in a complex environment, especially online with other players, you want to make sure your bombs are going to your target that you have designated with your laser code. If you're flying single player, then it is okay to keep the default code of 1688. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be using 1511. All right, let's get into the Viper Pit and drop some freedom on the bad guys. Okay, here we are in the F-16. Let's get the first thing settled here. We need to make sure our master arm is armed and our laser is armed. Always make sure that the laser switch goes up. Next on the ICP, we're going to click air to ground to go into air to ground mode. And then we're going to click on list and then zero for miscellaneous, and then five for laser. Let's change the laser code, remember, 1511, and we'll hit enter. We will then dauber down to laser ST time, and we'll put 12 seconds and hit enter, and that's for the auto lasing. So 12 seconds before impact, the laser will automatically fire. Next, we're looking at the SMS page, and we make sure we change this to CCRP. We can either use this with the associated OSB and click CCRP, or we can use the missile step button to switch between CCIP and CCRP. And since we have the GBU-12 selected already, let's go ahead and change it to HSD. Okay, let's go ahead and change the left-hand screen to targeting pod by double left-clicking on Flickas and changing it to TGP. Let's go ahead and make the targeting pod soy, DMS aft short, using pinky switch to zoom in and using TMS left to change to white hot. We're now looking for some targets and we do have some targets right here, looks like. We got some T90s, some MI24s, and some BMPs. Looking for some high value targets, just in case there's some sort of shore ad down there. And looks like we have an SA-13 right here, which is the gopher. We went ahead and made a point track on him. Let's go ahead and click mark and make a mark point. On the DED, it does say targeting pod, so TMS forward short to make the coordinates go into the DED. We'll click on M cell to make it our current steer point, and then we'll click return on the dauber switch. So what we did is we made a mark point in case we lose the track on the target. Let's make sure we point track mode the SA-13, TMS forward short. Next, I'm going to set an altitude warning. I'm going to click on number two or a low and dauber down to MSL floor and put in 15,000 and hit enter. And this is if we break 15,000 that the altitude warning system is going to go off. Now, the reason I chose 15,000 is that's because usually when the man pads will be able to reach you and the Estrella can go up to 12,000 feet. Now I'm going to go ahead and freeze frame this real quick. So our max toss anticipation cue just came up and that's noted on the ASL. We do have a big giant circle in the HUD now that's going to flash eventually. Now this is the first cue that you're going to get for a CCRP bombing. And we don't want that today because we're not going to be doing max toss today. So since we're not doing max toss today, we're going to ignore the first solution cue here and wait for the second one. So here we go. Now it's flashing. That means do your max toss, but we're not doing that today. So we're ignoring that. And here comes the secondary solution queue. Coming down the ASL right now, holding the weapon release button and one away. So we just dropped the GBU from the left hand wing. So the left hand wing is actually going to raise. So we're going to put in some left trim and do a left hand turn here. 
and we're doing a left hand turn because the charging pod is on the right hand side and then we're going to go into a right hand orbit so here we are just doing a gentle right hand turn make sure we're not going to mask the targeting pod we don't want to mask the targeting pod looking at the targeting pod now we just need to refine our course and our point track on the SA-13 and you can see right now the L is flashing and the laser 1511 is flashing so that means that the laser is firing and we have a good solid shack on the target now for some reason the countdown timer wasn't working correctly there but we're going to come around for a re-attack and I'm going to show you exactly how I do that so we're going to fly outbound until we get about six miles away and then we're going to start a right hand turn back towards the target area So there's six miles looking back make sure there's no missiles or anything coming at us and we're gonna start pulling through and it's okay if the nose drops but remember we have that 15,000 a low in there just in case we go below 15,000 it's gonna yell at you altitude altitude so you make sure you pull back up and get above your hard deck remember we have that in there in case there's any shore ad missiles down low And there's the prime example, so 15,000. Let's get back above 15,000. We're on the ASL looking at another target right now. Point track on that target. Here comes the max toss anticipation queue. We are ignoring that. Here comes the solution queue for CCRP. Holding the pickle or weapon release button right now. There's one away. Don't forget to do your left hand turn. I usually aim for 30 to 45 degrees to the left. Remember it's a gentle turn, usually like a 2G turn not trying to mask the targeting pod at all so we don't mask the laser when it does start lasing starting to roll out and then we'll take a look over here to the right and we can see our target is right down there with that little uh, square looking at the targeting pod our t90 is still in point track mode it is now flashing the l that means that the laser is firing automatically and it should have a good shack right now boom look at that very nice so looking for our next target as we're flying outbound. Remember, we're going to do about six miles and then we're going to turn back in. Looking behind us to make sure it's all clear. And we're starting to get masked here. So again, flying outbound to about six miles and then we're going to turn right. And when we turn right back in, we're going to start looking for another target. Make sure we stay above 15,000 because we don't want to break that floor in case there's any more shore heads down there. Okay, here we go. Starting that right hand turn. A little more aggressive on the turn this time and when we start breaking through here we're going to be looking in the targeting pod so here we go looking in the targeting pod looking for another target got a bmp here oh and it looks like a nice juicy mi-24 hind so let's take that hind out just dropping the nose a little bit here losing a little bit of altitude and that's just to gain some more speed since we are losing speed as we're really heavy today make sure we stay above that 15,000. roll out on the asl And here comes that max toss anticipation queue. Remember to ignore that one. Looking for the solution queue. We're still looking at the MI-24. There goes one bomb away. And we can actually see it uh, a little bit there. Coming off to the left here. Remember, 30 to 45 degrees to the left. A little bit of a gentle pull. Just refining my target on the MI-24 with the targeting pod. And then soon we'll be turning to the right here. There we go. And as we look out to the right, there's our target. 10 seconds now until impact. Just refining our targeting pod location. And it should be a good shack here in a second. There we go. Man, look at that. Okay, so we have one more GBU-12 left, and we're looking at another MI-24. We are flying outbound. Remember, about 6 miles is a good target to look for to turn back in that gives you just enough room we're above 15,000 looking for any more shore ad threats just in case anybody starts shooting at us so we can flare if we need to I'm gonna go ahead and start a gentle climb here to get some more altitude as I pull the nose through we're gonna lose some altitude so we can try to not lose as much airspeed so here we go turning to the right at six miles dropping the nose below the horizon to help out with the energy management here Turning to the right. And again, this is our last GBU-12. Got the target right there. We're going to be lining up on the ASL. 
refining our target in the targeting pod. Altitude. Altitude. There's the altitude, altitude, so let's get back above 15,000. Thank you, Miss Betty, for doing that. There's the max toss anticipation cue. Ignore that one. And here comes the solution cue here. Holding the weapon release button. That's our last bomb. Coming off to the left. There it is. About 30 to 45 degrees to the left. We have the master caution. And that is because we need to go to category 1 now. For the stores config. Because we were in cat 3. There's the target area down there to the right. Starting our little right hand turn. Looking at the targeting pod. There's the MI-24. And 10 seconds now. 10 seconds. The L is flashing. That means that the automatic laser is lazing. So that's great. And boom. There's our fourth shack with GBU-12s. Oh man, that was a lot of information. I really hope you stuck around for the whole entire video and learned something today on the GBU-12 for the F-16. Now just remember to make sure your master arm's armed, your laser's armed, and your targeting pod and your GBU-12s. Their codes, they match. If they don't match, they're not going to work. And just remember, this mission is available for download in the pinned comment below. So if you want to try out this mission yourself and give it a shot, take as much time as you need. And I hope to see you on the next video.